Alright guys, so this is your buddy Kintis here. Check this out, this is my East, uh, this is my Dell 5675 um, Ryzen gaming computer. The power supply it originally came with is this right here. As you can see, it's a very poor power supply. It is finally kaput on me. It, the computer started malfunctioning. Um, I would get these weird errors and then uh, the power button now does not even turn it on. So yeah, it's totally dead now. So what I have here is a Corsair uh, 850 power supply. I'm gonna install that into here. So first things first, I'm gonna unhook this baby and then put that one in. So this is gonna take some time as you can see. They have all of these wires I have to get to. Here's the power supplies. Uh, one way here, as you can see. Uh, the main one is actually, where is it? Uh, there right here. That is the main one right here. So that has to come out. And once that comes out, it'll be a lot easier. But yeah, I gotta unhook all of this. Um, that includes this power supply right there, includes the hard drives. I got four hard drives on this thing, so uh, yeah, that power supply is gone. And if you guys were wondering what the specs are on this, you guys can take a look at it and focus. It is a Dell, uh, what's that say? Switch power supply, hard uh, 240 volts, 100 to 240 watts are uh where is it i read it here so i'm reading upside down guys let me see what it says it is a i think this was like a three six four sixty or something uh, yep 460 right there it's a 460 fire supply but it um oh total max wattage 385 sorry 385 right there if you, i don't know it's kind of blurry but it's 385 so um so yeah we got to get this out and put in a little bit more so i'm gonna unhook this so if you can see here there's a couple of screws on this side right there that have to come out that's what hook, that's what's holding it in so i'll be right back okay so i unscrewed all the screws in the back here okay and then you push the lever down on here right there to unhook this and it slides right out. So before I can slide it out, I'm gonna un unhook all these cables right here, like that one in there. So uh, give me one second, guys. I'll do that. All right, as I guess, as I told you, this becomes difficult. I already unhooked this part right there. As you can see, it's loose. This is, these cables are strapped in pretty damn close. So um, as you can see, they're buckled in with the plastic there. So. Uh, it's gonna be a pain in the ass, so I'll be right back. All right, so I got the clips off. The clips are actually come off like this. As you can see, you just put some pressure there and it'll pop right off. So uh, the clips are off and I'm gonna pull the wires out. All right, guys, so I got most of these wires out. I got the big one out here. Um, there's a little one here that's a pain in the ass to get through. So try my best, it's gonna take some time. All right, so I got most of these cables out here. As you can see, this is out most of it. I'm still working on a couple of plugs in here, so. All right, so the power cable is totally out now. The power supply is totally out. As you can see, here's the piece of junk that it is. Uh, this is not useful. It doesn't even start anymore. Uh, this is what I'm replacing it with. It is a Corsair TX85. Check that baby out. All right, let's do this. Well, that's kind of odd. The fan I have is there, but uh, the outlet is on this side, so. All right, I gotta fix this here. All right, so here's the problem with this uh, Corsair. As you can see, it doesn't fit that gap completely flush, so. Hmm. Like I can get by with it. There's a there's a plug in here, but there's an auto switch there. This grate here has to be changed. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. So uh, without destroying this thing. Hmm. So this is the problem that I run into is this grate. Okay. So there's the on and off switch right there. 
Uh, I might have to break this grade down. Um, I'll just maybe use some something to cut this plastic down. It's the only way I can get it to fit. Um, yeah, it's not going to look the greatest, but this it's not like this plastic part can pop off. Hmm. Well, there's the problem, guys. Right there, so... Piece of junk. You know, Dells are nice, but the cases are not universal. This is the problem. You're better off getting a pre-built or a custom PC so the parts would fit easier. Hmm. Yep, I'm just gonna have to chop this off, guys. I'll be back. So I finally cut it out. I cut this plastic tab area, area out. Uh, we don't really need this anyways, so. Um, but yeah, I see all the plastic shavings. What did I use? I used a knife to cut it, so. Um, yeah, I cut pretty easily. Um, but yeah, I don't need this anymore. Or a bunch of that. Uh, but I'm gonna clean this up and then put the power supply in. So as you can see, it does fit a hell of a lot better now. It's way more flush, uh, and you can actually hit the power button in there, so. Okay, so yeah, you have to do that if you want to get this in here. So give me a second. All right, so I got one uh, big cables in. As you can see, that one's already in, fits for, like a glove. Gotta get the rest in now. I'm gonna have a ton of cables lying around, look at that, so. All right, see, so the PCIe is in now, as you can see, put it there. I got a couple extra PCIe's from this, I'm gonna uh, bundle it up in some sort of zip tie. Hopefully if I can find one, I'll be back. All right guys, it is all done as you can see. Cables are everywhere, but it, is, it fits. So I'm gonna turn it on and see how it works. I'll be right back guys. Oh, and I wanted to show you what it looks like when it's flushed against the uh, grate here. Uh, there's the power supply, if you guys can take a look right there. There it is. So it does fit, but not the greatest. Um, yeah, that's why I don't like these custom cases. I'd I rather have a regular case so fit, things can fit better. All right, guys, I'll be back yeah, plugged in. Plug and as you can see, it is totally powered up. It does work uh, with, a new, with a regular ATX power supply. I always get questions, people asking, does a regular power supply work? Yes, a regular power supply works. It just might not fit properly, but uh, it works. All right, guys, stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and um, thumbs up the video, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.